for a second. I know. I like, couldn't see shit, nothing. dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like F-bombing in a smaller package. Fucking ridiculous, dude. <laughs> So this is what's underneath this beast. It's a 427 cubic inch small block with our billet manifold, billet valve covers. It's got twin injectors per cylinder, twin turbocharged, intercooled. We ended up cutting the bumper so it flows uh, good air to the cooler. And then we kind of sectioned the bumper a little bit for some cold air to the radiator. You look back there, the regulators, the whole fuel system is built into the manifold itself. It's kind of neat. And then little covers to cover the turbochargers. But this motor makes 1,650 horsepower. And as we'll show you, it drives around just like a little kitten. And it's almost amazing that it's in this little mozzie. But uh, pretty cool. So we've got this uh, electronic, electronically controlled uh, boost control. So if we want more boost, we set uh, a specific number in here and it'll increase the boost. If you want less, we set another number, it'll decrease the boost. That's kind of a nice thing because uh, you can adjust anywhere from 600 to 1600 at a touch of a button inside the car. So here's some nice features about what we did here. We built this little aluminum panel to cover up the uh, three length suspension. It's got the Tech 3 Electromotive computer going to a Ron Francis Express uh, kit. All the relays and fuses are all back here uh, behind the driver's seat which makes it really nice and accessible. Uh, we've got the battery mounted behind the passenger and then there's dual fuel cells that are covered by a steel firewall uh, behind that. Uh, another cool thing is it's all chromoly cage. Uh, it's tied through through the dash into the strut towers, but it's tucked really tight so you can't really uh, see it from when you're driving. Door bars are really low. So you can get in and out of it pretty easily. And it's just basically a stock Mazda, you know. Uh, but pretty cool. Definitely not a fancy looking car. And the owner wanted it not fancy. He wants it to look kind of like a wreck, but be a super fast. And we've got dual fuel tanks. So this is a primary gas tank, which we put 91 in. And then the secondary gas tank, we put race gas in. So once the uh, car gets into boost, it injects race gas, but you drive around on 91 octane until then. So that's kind of a neat feature of the car. We've got some massive tires on this thing. It's a 325-50 Hoosier drag radial. Uh, about all the tires you're gonna fit in this bad boy. What do you got to say? Well, can't say it's beautiful because you need to have something to compare with. So what we need to do is everybody wants to say what I got is beautiful. So I got a picture of the engine in 1990. Here's a picture of the
Turbo Magazine. Okay. And here's 1990. And there's what the engine looks like. And we thought that was pretty good back in 1990. Yeah, single turbo carbureted V8, huh? That's right, and that was pretty good. So now we need to take a look and see if it's the new one is better looking. Yep. <laughs> it's either beautiful or it's not. It's real simple, isn't it? So let's take a picture of the new one and see if it's better. All right, let's take a look. Uh, quite a quite a bit of difference in technology over the last 20 years. So, what is your main purpose with the car, George? Something to drive fast, something you can drive to church, go to the post office and have something that runs better than the Ferraris and the Maseratis and the things that they think run. The difference between going and really going. Yep. How's that? <laughs> so, it's kind of unusual, you know, I mean, it, I took a drive with you in the car and you got no fear of it. You're, you're just balls to the wall. You really, uh, you really use the power, huh? Well, you get used to it after we've had it 20 years while well, you finally get used to it. Yeah. So it's just another car, but kind of like a sleeper. If yeah. Nobody else has got one and you've got one that runs. Why? A lot of people don't like that. They think if they have a Ferrari or a, one of those cars that uh, that's that's the end of it, or a Corvette. So I guess this is a poor man's race car. Yeah. <laughs> so you plan on ripping a bunch of Ferraris and Lamborghinis in this thing? Yeah, that's easy to do. They ne they don't they never expect it. <laughs> in other words, it's over before it gets started. <laughs> Yeah, well, it was it's it was definitely it's definitely a fun car. You never expect it to have this kind of motor in it. And I'll tell you what, with you behind the wheel, I bet you really make them shit their pants. Well, if it lasts another 20 years, that that would be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to say about the car? No, we just need to go drive it and see if we like it better than we did before. All right, we'll come back. We'll get your comments on it. Okay, that's what we'll do. All right. Okay, George. Okay, you ready? Yeah. The only thing you can say on a video, don't use the words like uh, it was forthcoming or all the words that Obama's using. Just say what they would say in Mex in uh, Michigan about the car. It will make you grin. That's <laughs> all you can say about the car. You don't need to say no more. If you don't know what that means, you shouldn't be driving. Is that right? It'll make you grin. When you go drive it, you'll, you'll know what I mean. <laughs> All right, thanks, George. Thank you. Oh. Yeah.